Yo, Rick here, and uh, we got it something different. We got a Mel Day. I've been saving up uh, some of these for about a month or so, maybe longer. Not too sure, and uh, you know, piled enough up. to be like, all right, go ahead and make a video on it, just to show y'all what I'm buying, to show y'all what I'm, you know, putting in my PC, because I only buy for my PC. I don't invest whatsoever. Personally, I think it's silly. Um, it's a hobby, you enjoy it. So yeah, let's just start off with this first one right here. Um, some of these are already opened, and then some of them I just took off the shipping label from. Okay, so yeah, this one's this one. Alright, so we got a Jeremy Pena Cherry Tree. Um, pretty nice overall. I think I paid about like 50-ish dollars for this. Kind of hard to come by. Um, at least personally for me. But a nice parallel. These come out of the 2022 uh, Japanese boxes. Uh, tops update. So yeah, nice little Jeremy Pena. Ricky card in the cherry tree. Um, I did notice, because when I first opened it, I did look at it. Um, it had a little scratches on there, which I'm not going to grade it. But, you know. You know, okay, yeah. Here's another Jeremy Pena. If you couldn't tell, it's on the Mojo. A very... Nice looking card right there. I believe this is the purple. So it's at a 75. I think I got a good deal on it. Um, Got it for like 30 bucks. 35 bucks. Um, I do have the Bobby Witt Jr. of this one. At a 75 as well. Um, Just a very nice looking card. Top loader is a little beat up. But uh, doesn't matter if the card's still in decent condition. Um... This is the only one I got a problem with. So, um, this guy, I had a little issue with this guy. I left him negative feedback just because he sent in this. And look how, like, easy it is to bend. Um, you know, everybody else sent theirs in bubble mailers, right? And I paid over 20 bucks. It's not like I paid a dollar for this. Um, he was selling it for 30. I sent it off for 22 and he took it. For 22 and he took it. Um,. I forgot his name's like CPH Lemons or something like that. I don't know. I don't care about exposing people. Like I said, I was not satisfied with this. And like, you know, if if it can fit in a box, you know, the workers at the USPS or at the post office are going to shove it in, in the box. So like it came like this. Um, n nothing else. Right, I have it, yeah, in the team bag, in the top loader, um, right, like, and yeah, the card's fine, um, he also didn't tell me it has a print line up there on the top as well, and it was a quantity buy, which is my fault, I will admit to that, like, I didn't notice it was a quantity, he had, like, more quantities or whatever, but there is a little nice little print line through it, which, I know it's not a huge deal, but I at least want my cards to be eye appealing, especially if I'm spending like over 20 bucks for it. That's personally just me. Um, was hoping the shipping would be better since, you know, it's in this flimsy thing. This is the only problem I had, like. So he left me a positive bad comment saying I was a bad buyer. But, you know, I'm just looking out for myself and trying to be smart about what I buy and, uh. Yeah, that's not going to cut it, to be honest, right? Like, yeah, it got here safely, but that's still not, um, you know, what you expect. That's not the standard, right? Like, all my other ones came in Bub Miller. These are all over 20 bucks. Um, heck, some might even be like 15 or whatever. I just got to remember what cards these are. So these two are the two new additions. Um, I don't know what this one is. I don't know what this one is. And I think I know what this one is. And I think I know what this one is. Um, I'm for sure I think I know what this one is, though. Um, but yeah, it's like... Okay, yeah. So this one is this one. Alright. So yeah, as you see, not opened. It is a Bowman card. Um, Ivan Melendez. I've been talking about him. Um, dude, it's actually the same age as me. Didn't know that. Been talking about him in some couple of my Bowman videos. Uh, and yeah, I 
decided to pick up a mini diamond. I think that's what it's called. Parallel first. Um, let's take it out the sleeve. Just so I can inspect it a little bit closer. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty nice card. I think I got this one for like 10 bucks. Um, not too expensive. And look, 10 bucks, and it was in Bob Miller and and uh, this team sleeve. I won't put it on because that's just going to take a little bit more time. The team bag and top loader and all that good stuff. But anyways, enough about the ranting about that. Um, but yeah, that was one of my other pickups. I really don't remember what's in this, uh, in this one whatsoever. It has to be newer. Um, I think. Let's see. So yeah, as y'all see, I'm buying a little bit of Jeremy Pena. A little bit of Ivan Melendez doing a little prospecting. But, you know, he played for Texas and he's from Texas. He's from El Paso. And he played for UT. Um, so that's why I am collecting Ivan Melendez. Like I said, I'm not an investor whatsoever. I'm not in the game to try to make money and uh, possibly lose money. It is, that doesn't seem like fun. Oh, look at that. It doesn't seem like fun. It doesn't seem like, you know, it would be enjoyable for me to do as a hobby. Because um, I see it purely as a hobby, not a money-making machine. Ooh, that might be a little bit loud. But uh, let's see what we got here. I think I think this is another Ivan. Pretty sure. Oh no, this is a short print. All right, yeah, Jeremy Pena short print. Um, totally forgot about this one. Not gonna lie, looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. Um, I think I got this one for <clears throat> twenty-ish bucks, twenty thirty bucks. Take this tape off. That's gonna be a while. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. See, isn't it kind of fun forgetting what you got? Ain't it a little fun? You, it's like a it's like a new surprise, even though you bought it. Just take. No, no I don't want it. So yeah, a little off centered, but I it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Like you know, tops a little cut a little different, but man, that is a good looking card right there. Glad to have it in my PC. Um, <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Awesome. Um, I was trying to pull it for the longest time. Instead, I pulled two Freddie Freemans. And I think a... Who was it? Freddie Freeman. Uh, Logan Webb. And somebody else. I forget. Um, I forget what their name is. Is it Manny Ramirez? I think it was. Pretty sure. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. Nice little short print. Sadly, did not pull it myself. But, hey. I mean, we got it while it was, you know, not too expensive. Because I believe that card was going for, like, 60, 40 bucks at one point. Alright. Well, this is... I'm just going to open it from here. Because it's being a little silly. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Who? I gotta see what card this is. Because whoever packed this, packed it nice. You gotta love it. Whenever people pack it like this. Um, yeah, yeah, it may take a little bit more effort to get through. But, I mean. Oh, this is a graded card. Holy crap, I forgot I got one of these. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is my first graded card. Um, ever. Uh, like I said, I'm not too huge on grading. Um, I don't mind buying graded cards, but, you know, I, I would see grading cards as trying to keep it, trying to keep the card in that same condition that you got it in. Um, I believe I remember what card this is, but what is this? I don't, okay, promotion, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's see, good old Jeremy Pena. Gold out of nine. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm not gonna lie. These slabs are pretty cool. Nice little bag on it, too. That is pretty nice. All right. 
That's pretty cool. Um, I think it's real. I guess I can look up the serial number see if it's real or not, huh? Um, well, now I know what a uh, PSA 9 looks like. A little widen on there. A little, little winding up there. Nicely centered. Nicely centered. All right, that's a little exciting. I'm not going to lie, it's so great forgetting what you got and then remembering. Oh, <laughs> that's just a magical feeling. Let's put this over here uh, where our other cards are. Um, just do it like this, but yeah, man, I, I totally forgot I bought a graded Jeremy Pena gold. Wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's PSA 9, so it's not uh, PSA 10, but, you know, hey, if, if I was going to pull something, and I have pulled, like, golds before rookies, they've been pretty damaged, like, they would have a Dean Corner or a, um... Just in general, like, some whiting or you know, they're off-centered. Maybe one day or here a little bit in the future, I'll show y'all what all I pulled from uh, update, 2022 update. Because I opened quite a bit. I'm not going to lie, I opened like four hobby boxes. Sorry, I'm really trying to get this open. I opened like four hobby boxes, like at least, ow, 14 hangers. Tape is gripping. Um, I think I only opened like three blasters, two or three blasters, something like that. Um, I should have just cut it. No, I just made a mess. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut it from right here because, yeah, um, it's all sticky. All right, but yeah, maybe if if you want that, let me know. I'm not too sure how many people are gonna watch this since it is a melody. It's not an opening, so I understand. Now my thumb's a little sticky, so I'm not gonna take it out the uh, top loader, just in case. Just leave it in the top loader. Um. So yeah, what do we got here? Oh, a number. Okay, I think I know this one. Yeah, I remember this one. A nice uh, purple Ivan Melendez. Out of 250, should be. Yep, right there. Um, my thumb kind of hurts because that's <laughs> sticky stuff. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good, honestly. Like, I know these can be tough. Uh, I know 2022 Bowman in general was pretty rough overall. But this one looks pretty sweet. Not going to lie. I honestly like the blue a little bit better. Um, but, you know. I mean, green's my favorite color. Hobby doesn't like green or purple, in my opinion. Or not in my opinion, but from what I've seen, blues are pretty nice. I mean, in general, blue is a nice color. Um, put that over there. So, yeah. So And these are our two newest cards. Sorry for taking like 13 minutes just on a Mel Day video, but, you know, we got a couple of cards. Make sure. Just cut it way up here. You know, make sure I enjoy my cards, you know. I bought these with my hard-earned money. Um, I don't remember which one's the which. Which one's this one? All right, whatever, we'll just go with it. Um, but yeah. Another, Ivan Melendez. Ivan Melendez and Jeremy Pena have been the main focal point of my recent purchases. Um... I'm looking to get some football stuff now, um, like Damian Pierce, even some def defensive guys like Stingley, Petrie, um, Tank Dell. Obviously, I'm going to have to start getting C.J. Stroud stuff, maybe. If, uh, yeah, there we go, boom. Um, if I even, you know, am able to uh, afford it because that stuff's going to be expensive. Although he's an exclusive um, Fanatics signer or player, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, nice little autograph, 250 I believe I spent like 50 bucks on this. Um, or yeah, like 58 t shipped, um, so not too shabby at all. Um, on card, obviously, I think. Yeah, 
Sorry for blinding y'all. But yeah, nice little purple right there. I know it's a purple. It's not a fan favorite, but hey, I take them when I can get them because the blues. I tried to get a blue because blue was looking really nice out of 150. And uh, yeah, I missed my opportunities. Um, missed my opportunities. And hey, uh, it happens. It happens, you know. Got a little gun shy with the first few I've seen. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to make it happen. And then they just started going buck wild expensive. So I was like, oh, I'm going to take a step back because I don't know if I want to spend that much money on that specific card. I've got a little note here. What's, what's going on here? Is this just regular paper? We'll just, we'll just, we'll just do it like this. So. Oh, that shows everything. All right. That's that. No, all right. <laughs> okay. All right. He sends in a card saver. Not, you know, the best, but, you know, we'll take it. I kind of want to take it out. I'm not going to lie. Woo wee. That thing looks sweet. Look at that. Get back in there. Look at that. I think I got this one for like 38 bucks. Like 46 shipped. Man, that thing nice. That thing is nice. Yep, round two. 43rd overall. Um, average, not too bad. 356. So yeah, I don't know. Like I said, not investing in this guy, but just another PC person, I guess you can say. But uh, overall, I'm happy with what I bought. Not going to lie. Besides that one Sapphire base card of Jeremy Pena. Um, what's going on here? It's a little... I'm just going to put it like that. All right. I know what I'm doing. Totally. But yeah, let's go. Let's go back and uh, review what we got. Obviously, we got the two Ivan Melendez autographs. Oh man, they look sweet. Especially this one. Something about this one, like it's so clean. I'm I'm really a sucker for that clean, minimal, like a little shimmy shine to it, a little refractory, you know, stuff to it. Obviously, like I like both. Okay, I can't lie. I kind of like the look of this one a little bit better. The, the just the regular plain refractor, even though it's out of four ninety nine. Um, funny enough, I bought this one by accident. I sent out an offer, and they had like the auto pay eBay thing. I guess that's new, and it automatically did it. And I was like, "Ooh, okay, I guess I'm getting it now." Like I wasn't complaining whatsoever. Um, really happy with that, to be honest. Um, and then obviously, the two purples, right? The two purples, one autographed and one uh, regular parallel. Uh, trying to get, like, a Sapphire or, um, just, like, a lower-numbered parallel of Ivan Melinda's as well. Oops, sorry about that. Jeremy Pena short print. Always nice. Uh, even though, you know, the value's gone down, that doesn't bother me. It's, uh, it's a PC player. I had another Ivan Melinda's on the Mini Diamonds or Sparkle or... Not too sure which one this one is. Can't lie. Can't lie. Um, I think it's, like, a Sparkle. Beckle or Sparkle. Um, I think the mini diamonds look a little bit different. Got the purple. Jeremy Pena. A cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. Cherry tree. Jeremy Pena insert on... What was it? 97 that was? I think. Uh, the uh, controversial uh, sapphire base. Jeremy Pena right there. Um, with the print line and the shipping issues. Also, this one's pretty off-centered, I noticed. Yeah, I don't know if it was even worth 22 bucks, especially with how he shipped it. Um, but I'm never buying from him again anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then probably, you know, a nice solid hit right here. Hit. Or a nice solid pull we got from our mailbox. <laughs> a uh, gold out of 2022. 1484 Jeremy Pena base regular rookie card uh, not debut that's what I meant to say would you call it base I don't know but yeah very sweet cards um, I'm happy with my purchases pur purchases anyways I'm happy with what I bought um, but yeah anyways if y'all enjoyed this video I know it was a little longer um, 
I'm just sitting here just enjoying what I bought. So, sorry about that. Hopefully, y'all uh, tell me what y'all think. Did I make good buys? You know, I mean, obviously, the only good buy, only opinion that should matter should be mine, but I just want to hear what y'all think. Um, you know, what are y'all buying? Let me know. Uh, who are y'all buying? Um, if y'all are investing in anybody, let me know as well. Um, like I, said, I personally don't want to do it. I don't really like to myself, but I know a lot of other people do in the card community. So let me know what you're buying. Let me know who you're up on. If you like yourself a little Ivan Melendez or Jeremy Pena, let me know. Because, uh, yeah, I like them too. Uh, but, uh, yeah, anyways, taking too much of y'all's time. And uh, catch y'all on the next one. Latest.